it's here. The Football Manager Alpha version, and we got access for exactly one video. So let's stop wasting our time talking here. Let's go to my Steam library. Huh. A man of culture. We'll just click on that bad boy right here, and we're going in for the first time. I can't wait to find out where I'm about to spend a couple thousand hours this year. On that note, have you guys been outside in a while? Because I haven't. I... You know, I don't normally associate Football Manager with flashing lights, but okay, thank you. Hold on, we've got to upload a picture to the game. Perfect. That's good. I'm not a very accurate clicker. That's kind of why I play this game. I think we're good. I look like the Joker halfway through taking my makeup off. All right, we're in load. Oh, ho, ho! the first thing it says is load FM23 save games. Is it that easy? Ah, uh, so you can't unlock achievements, but other than that, it's, dude, it's, it's, it, it, it just opened my save folder from FM23. That is so cool. Because it's the alpha version, I don't think we can actually load that up yet, but that is really cool and really convenient. But let's start a career. We are going to start as Bayern Munich because I, I want to test something out. This is what I wanted to test out. Wow, the, the UI already. Very helpful with the new features. Amazing. Immediately. So the reason I wanted to test this out, this is the original way to play Football Manager. Updated squads will be in use at the start of each new career, even if those transfers hadn't happened yet by the corresponding date. So a Football Manager has always worked, which when you get the new game, you start like June 27th, but all summer transfers are already done. Then there's Real World, Well, they'll start at the clubs that they would be at at the start date of the actual career, but they'll move to the new club on the same date they did. And then there's Not the Real World, where you start with accurate budgets at the beginning of the transfer window of the beginning of the career, and all of the players are on the teams corresponding with that date and then you just play for it from there and they can end up anywhere so somebody like harry kane won't be on my team unless i click that then he will be i figured football manager would make that a lot harder to find then let's start as dortmund and watch that transfer happen ah uh, the options here too all right nice that makes sense but that's the last time that save folder is gonna be empty we saw my one from fm23 it's only about like thousand saves in there all right i want to test out some of the new rules while we have the chance so we're gonna go with inverted fullback inverted wingback is supposed to play different and we're going to turn this ball playing defender into a libero and try and go with like a two three five sort of build up attacking play for like the one match we're able to play here the tactical levers themselves do seem to be the same though so we're breaking out the libero beautiful beautiful this feels so awkward when i'm in a new game and i haven't adjusted the interface yet so i i'm, go I'm going to take the time to do that let me just zoom it in a little bit please there it is that feels better now i'm saving i'm saving the one thing that i really want to do i'm saving that for the end we got to look for other little easter eggs first hey instead of training individual set piece stuff you can just train set piece routines it does not give you a match day boost anymore so that's going to adjust the way that we have to approach training this year that's a deep cut though that's one for the real nerd not all you fake nerds. Oh. oh, it's beautiful. We don't even have one. We don't even have a set piece coach, please. Ooh, this is different. Set piece coach. Attribute. There it is. Linus. Hi, Linus. You like to be a set piece coach? I know you would. Oh, there's the targets thing. Okay, found that. They gave me 47 caps and one goal. Do I look like a center back to you? And I didn't find anything else, so it's, it's time to do it. And then we're going to play a match. Just, just let me have this one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We have to wait for our set piece coach. Oh, there's a set piece induction and I have to take it. Why do I have to take it? I want to wait for my coach. In the staff responsibilities, there's literally a set pieces section. All right, I guess we have to do this now. We can't wait for our coach. What defensive strategy would you like to employ? Hybrid. What post do you want players marking while defending? No posts. How many players do you like to leave forward when defending a set piece? Defend the box. How do you prefer the ball to be delivered from a attacking set pieces near post how many players do you want to leave back defending during a set piece balanced in swinger or out swinger analytics say in swingers and that is it and that is it oh! This is years of my hard work, complaining and complaining, sleepless nights complaining about this, and it has finally come to fruition. Oh, seriously, thank you to the people that designed this. You've changed my life. Set pieces, corners, free kicks, shooting range, 
wide and deep. You can do right and left, but it replicates for you automatically, which is just so intuitive and, and nice. Throw-ins, defensive third, retain possession or work the line. I mean, freaking awesome. Thank you. So the, the, the long throws are still a thing. If you're, if you're defending throw-ins, it's only when you're in your defensive third, you can set up your throw-in defense. Attacking corners. Can I hover and it tells me what the most, uh, most uh, oh yes, I can. Awesome. Box threats are players in our team are best anticipated and scoring from flick-ons or knockdowns in the box. Selecting the header above will present a priority list of our best box threats. Oh, anticipate, anticipation. And off the ball, yes. Creators. So the players in our team are best at being a creative threat from outside the box. Selecting the header will present a good list and what's important for them. Long shots technique and crossing, beautiful. Recovery defenders, seems self-explanatory. I just love reading these things. So the players in our team are best at defending opposition counterattacks. And then if I move this guy down, then I only have three aerial threats and one person that is a box threat and then two creators and everything else. So we have our two, they're labeled over here. Creator one, creator two. We have our box threat one. We've got our aerial threats here. You can't control them over here on the right side. So if, if you tell them you want near posts, and that's what you get. What if we add somebody over here? We have four aerial threats and far posts. So if we, if you have four aerial threats, then wait, hold on, this isn't really, this isn't really lining up here. I have four aerial threats and they're, they're on the back post, but I've, I've I've selected to aim for the near post, but this this would this would lead me to believe far post is the right thing to do. Oh, this is where okay. I I was just being stupid. I can change what they're doing. So if it's near post, in swinger, attack near post, attack near post, attack far post, lurk far post. Ooh, lurk. I love a good lurk. So you click and drop down, and you can change kind of what they're doing in that area. Lurk outside the area on the far side. So if it deflects, so like if you're taking corners of the far post, you want somebody lurking on the far side. But since we're taking them near post. I want somebody lurking near side, which somebody's already doing. So this guy can't lurk far side, but he can lurk center. Got it. Interesting. Now, this is very helpful. I can click on this and it will tell me with the players that are selected in my starting 11, who is going to be doing which job. Ah, corner takers. Okay. I get set a default corner taker at the bottom. And if I want to change the, the ranking of those players, I can just do this. And they've got bibs if they're on the bench right here. Awesome. And I can click through the four things and attacking corners. Oh, it's just so good. It's night and day. One of the biggest single improvements to any aspect of football manager I have ever seen in my entire time playing the game. Everything that you want to do is there. Except for specifically positioning the players. You couldn't do that before. Oh! Oh! Match prep Preparation for our upcoming match. Analyze the weaknesses in the opposition defensive structure. Out of possession phase. Review their most effective attacking combinations. Transition phase. I can also... Oh my goodness. I can prepare different aspects of our set pieces and our defending set pieces. And there's recommendations from my staff. And I just signed a set piece, coach. Come on. And it's an achievement. Oh, I don't get this for a staff member anyways. We're going to test a few things. One, we're going to test the positional play of an inverted winger and a Mitsala on attack who should end up in the same area. We're going to test how a libero, an inverted fullback, and the adjusted inverted winger all play together with the positional play. It's going to be a very interesting match to watch. We're opening friendly against Reed. Let's do this, baby. You know, I didn't adjust the audio. And I expected it to blow my ears out like it always does. That didn't blow my ears out. They've do they've changed the audio a little bit. That sounds different. I know none of you guys play with the audio, but it's different. It's this fuzzy background going on. Maybe it's just an alpha version thing. We've got the uh, settings turned up all the way, but that that yeah okay. What is going on here? Did I did I break the game? I set it to default and it looks fine. What did what did I click to accidentally break it, dude? Okay, so it was just it was just being out. It was just being an alpha, and that's okay because this is an alpha version of the game. All right, so what we want to see is this. We want to see a two three. 4-1 kind of build up. And that's immediately what we have. We have Ben Sabaini. We have Sula approaching. We're going to have Ryerson combined with Schlotterbeck at the back. And it works immediately. Oh, it's beautiful. We're in like a flying V right now. There's Julian Brandt. There's Gio Reyna. They're holding different positions. They're not getting in each other's way. I'll be honest. I don't know if you guys can see this. But it really feels like the movement's a lot more natural. I mean, obviously, like, it's still a football manager match engine. I, I mean, like, graphics engine. We know Unity's coming next year. So, you know, in terms of AAA games, it obviously doesn't look great. But what I'm looking for is the underlying match engine. How the players are moving outside of the graphics, but the different uh, animations that they're provided with, how the ball is moving. And that, that looks better. I know that's something they were working on was the movement of the ball. 
Like an immediate, like very early on in possession, we have a we have our two three build up here. That's my center back, and that's my freaking inverted wing back, and that's my defensive midfielder on defend. It's almost a two one two when you're in that spot. Oh, brilliant! That tactics are going to be completely different this year. Things are just going to feel different. The positional play might sound like. You know, promotional marketing garbage or something when they're when they're saying it. Oh, that's a beautiful goal. The finishing feels better. The flight of the ball feels better. We got Gio Reyna doing the freaking jig on the far side of the field. I'm so excited to spend my life playing this game. And I don't say that every year. And I am so pleasantly surprised because I really did expect FM24 to be a placeholder and do enough to get us invested before FM25, but I really think that this is a significant, significant improvement. And obviously with the limited time we have, we're not able to test some of the things like the dynamics and player interactions, which develop over years in a save. But the things we are able to, to test and experience feel better. Look at the players away from the ball too. That's where they were saying that the majority of player movement is gonna look more authentic is when the players are away from the ball. And they still do in some, you know, some say they look like they're running around on glass. <laughs> you think we'll get the 26 to nothing? Now they look like they're running around on glass, but I'm gonna, ch I'm gonna chalk that up to graphics engine and that'll be changed next year. So with what they're working with right now, it's an improvement. Like in the buildup, you can see the center back do a really realistic looking animation and then it just glided forward in a way that's physically impossible. But the animation, you know, the animation, the match engine made his movement look really good. Uh oh. Bad. Oh, that, you know, that's a realistic looking play that we haven't seen before. They didn't really mention anything about finishing, but I, I think the finishing in and around the goals look more authentic than ever. Sula just immediately goes up when he knocks the ball down. Oh, and a header into the ground. Oh, so many things. A header into the ground, and that cross looked so nice. Like, the speed of the ball there looks so much more natural. It's not zinging straight over to him. It floats over to him in due course. Like, the, the ball, it moves a lot faster than it does in the real game. Now, obviously, if I play on one game speed above normal, but I always believe that one game speed above normal, fe uh, above normal feels the most realistic. That's where we're on here. And the flight of the ball just felt so much better timed than it has in past years. Tiny thing that can make a major visual difference, make it feel so much more realistic. Yeah, and then when you're in the tunnel, it really does, it, 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 it like muffles the crowd. That That's cool, that's neat. Interesting, so the inverted fullback goes up and then Sula actually went back. Did you see that? Like Ryerson picks the ball up and as he starts to advance, you see Sula go, oh wait, I'm gonna drop off. It's very realistic. Obviously, your inverted fullback just shouldn't be doing that a lot. It looked like it was being a little weird over there, but that's what you want to see in the movement being all natural. Just bounce it back there. Oh, man. The goalkeepers don't seem super cleaned up. I, I think the goalkeeper has, has made that, that type of look and save every time where he just like, you know, hands to the right. And that, that didn't look like a great natural save. Oh, that was a really good tackle animation. Right after some weird animations for him losing the ball in the box. Weird, I feel like I'm not even coaching the match. I'm just, that, that was better save, okay. Maybe it was just that one save and it's still the alpha version. Oh, and he like bends his run to get himself on side for that. You see the body bend. I'm telling you guys, this feels this is like a big match engine improvement. I, I know they were talking about a lot of match engine stuff, but you take this match engine and put it in the Unity engine next year with the same level of improvement as before, and oh, so we're gonna be playing. We're we're, we're gonna be playing in the year 3000. Really, the flight of the ball has affected the quality of the look of the shots so much just in this one match. I am very pleasantly surprised with what I just saw from the match engine. The most surprising new thing that I have seen. Oh wait, no, they added one more feature. Is that is that the subscribe button? Right, right, right there. <laughs>
Unfortunately, that's all the time we had to play the alpha version of Football Manager 2024. Let me know your thoughts about what we were able to show you in this video in the comments. I will be reading those and reacting to those, but I gotta be honest, guys, this, I gave a pretty lukewarm rating to the FM23 improvement from FM22. As we went deep in FM23, it felt a little weirder. This feels like a bigger improvement than that, and that, that kind of stunned me. It's an alpha version, long way to go, but we'll be no life in it on Twitch in no time. If you do need help with your FM23 save, this is me saving saves. Uh, recently in FM23, trying to fix broken saves. Maybe you're trying to haul the corpse of your FM23 save along long enough so you can load it into FM24. That'd be fun.